Welcome back to Learning While We Play Crusader Kings 3. And we are here with the County of Aran. We're trying our best to survive and to have more children, to expand our lands, and not to be eaten by the massively overpowered and much more strong than us Abbasid Empire, our big, big neighbor here. Oh, look, we could offer to join a war of the Byzantine Empire, but, well, honestly, do we want to? No. Oh, what's this? He has a smelly court. <laughs> All right. Very good. All right, an event. Let's see what's happening now. Now, the game does pause during events, so you needn't panic. It didn't always used to do that in Crusader Kings 2. Boy, was that a problem sometimes. You could set it individually, but, ooh. Crossing the courtyard, I am pleased to finally hear someone appreciating my Chancellor Abirad. Oh, don't listen to those sour grapes. Mayor Ocean Warbles, you're the best Chancellor Ran has had in ages. At least that I know of. For a moment, I'm sure I spot Mayor Mamigong in the shadowed stables across the quad, eye twitching before he melts into the darkness. So, this guy, we fired from that job and he really wants it back. This guy is, well, praising this guy, who we put in there for his job. At last, a fellow connoisseur of character. So we can go ahead and agree. These two boys might form a rivalry, but uh, what does that matter to us? And we are no longer having disgruntled vassals, which I think is good. It happens either way. You can see down there it has happened, and up there on will happen. We could go, say, let's have a night out, just us three. So we could lose some gold, which is a very precious resource this early on and throughout the game. Uh, but and, and we would get maybe a friendship and a uh, better opinion. Friends is good. You know what? Let's try that. Let's all three of us, let's go for a drink. We'll take the opportunity. What can we what can we buy with 15 gold anyway? Nothing much. But then again, keep in mind a castle or something, a building, a whole thing, like a it costs like 150 gold. So a tenth of that was spent on a night out. Very decadent indeed. An exercise in mediation. When the raised voices reach me yet again, I quench my instinct. Uh, turn on my heel. The constant bickering of my vassals, Mayor Mamigon and Mayor Oshin, is enough to drive any man mad. Something must be done. I could either treat the situation as an exercise in mediation or eavesdrop and approach one of them with my sympathies afterwards. So we could go ahead and try and, you know, have a little bit of a diplomatic challenge and see if we can do that. We might succeed, but we are more likely not to. Uh, we could go for Mayor Mamigon and be like, oh, that, that ocean, eh? He's such a buffoon. Uh, but that would be stressful for us because we are just. Then again, we already agree with this man. And he's our marshal and our vassal and our knight. So, and he's just, you know, a vassal and a knight. So who cares about him? Uh, yeah. Can you believe Mami going? He has some nerve, my boy. Now, we, we're slowly getting stressed here. It's not, not much of a concern yet, but... We need to watch that for sure. Stress is not good for our health. So, um, our home country is this thing here. Our home county is the county of Ganja. Oh, we can marry our betrothed, which we will absolutely do right now. Because she just came of age. Let's see if we get some events for the marriage. Well, we get this event for the marriage. With the marriage to Countess Margarita, the realm expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding celebration. It is well within my right to collect a royal aid duty as part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to levy an extra tax during a time of jubilation. So we could get some money or we could get some prestige. The money here is good. Uh, so yeah, of course I will collect it. Who pays for their own wedding? Let's be honest. Uh, so now we are a little bit flush and we have some money so we can go ahead and build some things and we shall and we're gonna build it here 
Let's see. All the options we have now. Look at that. Look at that. Um, it makes sense to build these. Always try and build. It makes you stronger. It's very important. What we want is something that increases our wealth, but also helps us be a little protected. Um, so, say... The farms and fields would be ideal for just, you know, getting money. You can preview the various levels of it, what they what they do for you. And um, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty solid overall. But we could go for something like the hunting grounds, which give us some levies, so more people to send off to war. Um, also gives us a defend advantage, it brings us money and some other bonuses which don't really matter right now. Checking out our men at arms, we have some armored footmen and we have some bowmen. So, heavy infantry damage and spearmen. Though, and these are heavy infantry, uh, which you can see down there where it says type heavy infantry. So, we could increase their damage that they do by going for a barracks, and we would increase our levies quite some substantially. Which is, honestly, almost the most important thing early on, to, to have a lot of men. We could go for more archer damage and less levies. With the much more affordable and much more quicker built military camps. Um, but I'm feeling a little bit like increasing our income first. The more money we get, the more we can build. The garrison... Increases how many men are stationed here and how many need to be brought to siege us down. And uh, the fort level increases basically how long a siege might last. So this is pretty good defensively. Doesn't do much for us offensively. I am a little bit torn on the farms and fields. I think we'll start with that. It's the, it's the most boring choice, but all of these are mainly just kind of passive effects anyway. So it's, It'll be fine. Okay, there's some peasant rabble. Growing faction-wise here. Now these factions... We'll deal with that in a second. Go to the side, please. Now these factions here, they build, they increase over time. They have some military power, which is counted relatively to ours. Now be careful. If these are our vassals in here, which right now these are just peasants, um, they will be able to send an ultimatum. And if our vassals rise, then this number goes down, because this constitutes of our men and our vassals' men, uh, depending on how much they send to us. So this here uh, isn't really much of a concern. Even if they come, they're, they're not going to be a problem. So we'll ignore that for the moment. Go away. You can just right click these and they go away. My Chancellor Abirad bursts into my room, knocking over a lamp and almost setting the cushion alight. But I am sure I'm being followed, he cries, pointing after him. There were men skulking outside my chambers. My things have been moved. Okay, right. Very good. These are interesting choices here, but sometimes you get one with this little skill icon. And it's, it's, it's slightly highlighted. So this uh, comes about because you might be really good with that particular skill. Um, or, you know, it's, it's just due to the event. So I think no, one's th no one threatens my Chancellor is the right one. We have a bunch of options. Uh, nothing is found. Um, so the scheme that is running against him will go up and we lose some prestige, which we can afford. Uh, of course, we would like to rather have all the other options happening there. So, uh, yeah, let's let's see what happens if we do that. I didn't even check the other options because I like this one the best. This is just... I, I tend to more roleplay this than anything else. So, uh, that's fine. Okay, Abbey Rudd's Vindication. Oh, would you look at all that. Uh, as I recline with my Chancellor Abirad, we receive a missive from a spy master, uh, from my spy master, Mayor Babkin, instructing us both to attend my dungeon there in the dark, in the dank, not in the dark bowels 
of my castle be find him with the miserable Mayor Mammigan enchained at his side. This is a culprit, my lord, he crows. There is no doubt. <sighs> so their rivalry has protested to this. You are scheming against this man? How dare you, you low-life scum. Abirat is from the house. Palavuni. How dare you. It seems you have some explaining to do, Mamigon. So we imprison him. We have a fair reason, so none will think us a tyrant. So we got the good outcome, basically. Uh, including that the mayor, Babkin, has effective agents going on. And uh, there's a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, we could go for who else is involved. We torture the mayor. Another agent involved in the scheme may be discovered. But since we are just... This would be very stressful for us. Uh, it's it's not it's not ideal. We could let him go because we think he learned his lesson. But quite honestly, no, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. This man has some explaining to do. So off into the dungeon he goes. Now, we could go ahead and ransom him, likely to himself. He will pay us 23 out of the 30 gold uh, to be let free. We could do that, but we're definitely not gonna. At this moment, uh, this man is under house arrest. Because he, you know, he, he is someone. So he doesn't just... Well, I don't think he's in house arrest, but he's in the dungeon. Well, he's not in the dungeon. He's in house arrest, as I said. He has a high chance of running away from there. So we don't want that. We could execute him. Negotiate a release for other things than this. But we're going to move him for to the dungeon. His close family is not going to like that, because it also affects his health. But, well, that's what you get. One of our powerful vassals wants a council position. I don't care, so we dismiss this message. We can hire a court physician, uh, which is fine. We want someone with high learning there. Our bishop could be, but as you can see, aptitude, they're all terrible at it. Uh, so might actually be... Not the best idea, plus they cost some money over time. So, no. Well, we're not, we're not going to do that. We still can declare the same wars, which make no sense. But we can actually declare a war here now. We could do a small holy war for this uh, Shaikdom of Shaki. Well, we can't. Why? Uh, I'm confused. So this one... Oh, right, we have the right devotion level, but we don't have the right um, piety. Ah, well, what can you do? We could declare this war, but since we can't afford it, this would be worse for us. It's not ideal. Our fabricate claim from the first episode is almost done. So soon we'll get a claim here that we can then press in war. He still hasn't found any allies, so he's still still okay for us to take. There we go. Okay, so he prowled through documents, bone ancient and a less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to take this down for us. So we can spend some money, and that is a lot. Um, and we're not going to do that. Boy, that's expensive. I'd rather get claims against this boy. Uh, so we, we're switching. We're switching gears. We're going to go and get a claim on Shakri. Let's go. That was a little bit of a waste. Oh, our wife is pregnant. Very good. So she now has this trait here. <laughs> Abiradscha. My Chancellor Abirad and I are ra ambling through my gardens, laughing raucously at a rhyme overheard a servant tell when Mayor Mamigon crosses our path. Carrying his prison cell, as he does, it appears. Excuse me, what the heck is this? He looks at us sternly. My lord, there's something I wish to discuss. Do you have a moment? Um. We, be we get a welcome distraction. Uh, distraction. Disgruntled vassals. No. Go back in your dungeon cell. What is this? Why are you carrying a dungeon around? That's not how imprisonment works. I put you in the dungeon for a reason, my man. 
Don't just come bobbling out of there. Okay, so the fields are being built. We might want to speed this up. Um, so we'll send this guy here on the construction time. Uh, this should help quite a bit. We can only ever build one thing in, a, in an area. So we could take the money we have right now and build some more farms elsewhere. Building within the county limit is fine. Building outside in a different county is not the greatest idea. Because that might lead to uh, you losing it in succession. And then you have someone who's, who's got a really nice county <laughs> built up and everything. Uh, that then you, you have to deal with. So upgrading your own personal county first is honestly, it, it's the way to go. So we could go for more farms to get even more money. These are actually quite cheap because we set our uh, chancellor to do cheap stuff. We could go for that, adding some more levies. And I think... I think we're going to go for the hunting grounds here. Why would we cha why would we choose these over these? These do much less than these. Let's see the preview. Tax supply limit. Okay. Oh, nope, not not what I wanted to press. Come back. Huh. Okay, we don't get a supply limit raise here, which isn't all that important. Ah, we have a daughter. Uh, let's give her a good apostolic name, Stefania, so I can also pronounce it. Grow strong and wise, my daughter. So there are reasons to go with something not the hunting grounds, but not immediately. Like immediately, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to go with the hunting grounds because they're cheaper. Best reason to do anything. Because money. So here it costs the same again. Why is it so cheap here? What's going on? Does this place have a specific something going on? Let's check. <laughs> I don't know. Is he very good at this? He has high stewardship. Well, he's not too bad either. I honestly don't know why the difference in, in gold there. It's interesting. Okay, so we get our first talent point and we want to finish this tree to get the administrator perk first because that's pretty powerful at the end of the tree and we're so close we're just going to do that. So everyone contributes a little bit better. We'll wait. We're not going to build any more at the moment. We're building enough. And I think we're upgrading in the... Yep, we sent our chancellor to the wrong thing. Oh, no. Here. Oh, no, it's just... Yeah, the display is a bit wonky. It's the right place. It looked like it was here, but... Nope, it's the... <laughs> oh, my God. Does it decrease the cost? No. No. It doesn't. We want the gold to press this claim, or rather to get this claim, so we can then press it. You might have noticed I still haven't sped up the game. I don't believe in such things. <laughs> it's a dangerous proposition. Let's see. We could go and sway this man. We have a 20% chance of him being swayed at all. Oof, okay. Let's go sway this man. Nah, 41%. That's all not too great. Why does no one want to be swayed by us? Okay, let's see. Okay, so... He was very successful. We could spend a lot of gold, which we do not have, to get the whole claim on everything. Which would be ideal, but we can't afford that. And there's really nothing for us to get money right now. Like, we can't... We can't ask anyone for money. We don't have a Pope to, be, uh, to beg from. So, um, yeah. We, we're going to present the claim on Shaki. And we're going to move our man. 
And we'll see if anywhere needs to be converted. Yeah. Um, he goes convert there at our home, co home county. That's fine. It takes a while. I just want him to do something. And now we can declare war. And we, we are going to do that. Because at the moment, this man does... Ah, damn, he has an ally. He has an ally. Okay. New, new plan. Find his ally and find out why he's allied and how we can stop that. So this is his ally. His primary heir is his ally. Darn. That's gonna make things a little bit difficult because now we have to kill his heir. <laughs> Alright. Um, we start the murder scheme. Oh, that is a very potentially successful scheme. Takes us eight years to do that and we're very, very stressed. So we're gonna spend the gold, or some of it anyway, to go to recruit a hill specialist. Huh. Okay, that's new. We'll call a hunt. This will lower our stress, cost us some money. And we want to be notified when it's coming up there. So we press that. And now some hunt events are going to come up. We have some agents joining our plot to kill his heir. He has more. It's fine. He's not going to care. Well, he's going to care. But um, we want to kill this alliance. So he's alone again in the world. And we can militarily strike against him once again. That's what we want to do. Ooh, speaking of which, we have a daughter now. So, uh, first of all, let's educate her. <laughs> Sad to say, it doesn't really matter. Uh, make them diplomatic or military. That's usually good uh, to get a good match. So, we want alliance power. And I only see one potential alliance here. So we're not going to go with Alliance Power. We're going to see if anyone wants to marry matrilineally, Lily. Which he still does. So, okay, fine. He's already our ally, I think. So, yeah. It's the best we can do right now. Hunt the foragers. The woods truly is the mantle of the poor. But as the heart flees... In panic from foraging peasants, I feel my patience wearing thin. Surely there must be better things to do in Parnas than picking roots and mushrooms. So we could go ahead and try and get the rabble out of our land. We give them some money, which we cannot afford right now, but it would give us a lot of piety. So, sorry, you need to be denied the forest, which they're not going to like, understandably so. Betrothal, very good. Alliance, it's a weak one, but who cares? So our murder plot is gonna just putter along here. And we have gone deeper into prestige. For our ruler type, prestige doesn't really matter. But there are others like tribal, where prestige is a lot more important. Oh no. Ooh, I get this. Excuse me? Where is this? There? Okay, so the... Damn, he has allies too. Why is everyone allies? Um, So we have a claim here now because his his state diplomat, his counselor, he did, he did an oopsie. All right, and our bishop isn't isn't all that good at converting people. My, we are surrounded by the most bestest of the bestest. Never start a war that you can't win by yourself. If you're relying on your allies and you're not entirely sure whether or not they're going to come and stay with you through the whole thing. Mm. Okay, he wants us to ransom himself again. And, again, he's no threat to us. Even if he gets out, it doesn't matter. He's fairly good at intrigue, but not good enough. We already caught him uh, doing something bad. So, we let him out. We take the money. Um, and that's that's that. He, he, can, he can be himself again. Live his life. And maybe we get to imprison him again, and then, you know... 
imprison him and, and ransom him once more. You could also try and, you know, kill him. My Marshal Ocean has proven himself highly capable. There are some more projects I would like to undertake. And we can go ahead and, and tell him, yes, go do that. Increasing our development growth, which is pretty good. Uh, costs us some prestige, but why not? We can delegate. A good leader can delegate. Oh, um, now we have a wife. We can tell her what to do. So we can just go assist the ruler, which gives us a flat bonus of plus one to everything. Or we can push her in a certain direction, either to offset one of our shortcomings, um, like court intrigue or chivalry, to help us a little bit. Um, so you could just put her into managed domain, increasing what you're already good at, or supplement. I think I'm going to push her into chivalry, because that increases our... Chivalry here. It didn't go, it didn't go up to 10 because one of the points we had here to get to 6 she was providing. And there she is pregnant once more. But this helps us. It increases how many troops we have. It's a good thing to do. The murder plot is plotting. Puttering forward. Things are happening. And the thing here was built that we intended to build so now we get a lot more money we don't really have the money to build anything else and we can't upgrade this upgrading is very costly and this is also done now okay we can immediately upgrade this why is everything so cheap here I don't understand this I really, I really don't get it. I don't know why this is so cheap. Why is everything so cheap? Because it's communal. Okay. Anisonism. What the heck is anisonism? Okay, this is a tooltip I can't fix. So, I can't look at what anisonism is. But we're going to construct uh, the farms and fields. Because 63 for a plus 0 0.5 here. We'll take that in a heartbeat. No question asked. Um, anisocism. Do we have that here too? Let's check out this. Okay, we only have communal. Why do we have all these cool things here? Is this the prayer halls giving some of this? No. Where does all this come from? You. What do you have? You have nothing. Let's check our, our uh, religion, Anisocism. Taniel. A new son. Okay, so now we'll take a look, look at that in a moment. Okay, so Anisocism. Temple holding t uh, construction time and cost is reduced by 33%. There, that's where it comes from. And since this is a temple holding, meaning there's a temple there, that's why it's so cheap. We have a keep and a city here. All right, I get it. Oh, that's very cool. That's actually really cool. You can't personally hold a temple. Like, you can't be... This can't be a primary holding. But you can have it within. And if you had more land than just the three bits here to your county, you could build just more than one temple. And then you could really boost. I mean, that that's a lot of power that you could potentially get out of your county. All right, so... Succession. Let's let's discuss succession real quick. Looking at the time here, uh, we can we can fit this in, right? So our current realm has the succession of confederate partition, meaning our titles will be divided equally between our children. New titles may be created for younger realm heirs, meaning if we were to control enough territory while holding a duchy to form another duchy, but we cannot afford. To make that, it will be created for free for them as we die. And then our country will be split into two duchies. Won't happen here. Uh, he will just inherit counties. Now the problem is, and we can see down here, titles lost on succession. He's going to inherit this to the north. And we cannot stop that. Reasonably. Uh, we could imprison him. 
Um, which is definitely not good. We could disinherit him. Uh, which isn't good. We could denounce him. Which isn't good. Like all the... Just all the interactions. It's just... It's not... We can't even afford it. And we would lose some uh, renown here. It's, it's all... Is all suboptimal. There are other ways. Uh, there are other ways to, to get rid of them. Um, but at the moment, we will just kind of have to deal with it. So what we are going to do... He's Oh, he's sterile. Oh, that's good. I mean, it's not good if we become him. Uh, but it's good if we don't become him and he becomes a rival to our son. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw him into learning. So he's going to be less of a threat... And less powerful. Because we know we might eventually face him. When he takes bits out of our country. Uh, for our heir. And we have to fight him. Brother against brother. And if he isn't the, the strongest boy in the yard. Then you know. Sucks to be him I would say. And with that I would say we, we keep it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learn. I hope you enjoy. And to see you around next time. Until then. Bye bye.